What's up guys? This is Brent with 247parts.com. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install the John Deere Tractor Plus Smart Connector to the John Deere 3043D. Now, before we get started here, if this video happens to help you out or you like this video, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps us out as well. Now, if you don't know what the John Deere Tractor Plus Smart Connector is, it's going to be a Bluetooth connector that goes to the service advisor port on your tractor to be able to give you real-time information on what's going on with your tractor. It'll also give you such things as codes, also give you the access to parts diagrams and much, much more, which I'll have a full video on our other channel, Western Equipment, going over exactly what all this little connector can do. But there is two different places on the John Deere tractors. Now this is mainly going to be for two, three, and four series tractors. Some one series and some five series even will take this connector. But there are two different places to where this connector will normally hook up. And one is going to be underneath this cowling. And if it goes underneath the cowling here, you'll actually have a couple little black tabs right here on each side that you'll be able to pop loose, work this cowling off, and then usually over on the right-hand side, you're going to have your ECM or your computer module there, and then your service advisor port. But here on the D-Series model, we're actually going to connect right down here at this little cap, which is going to be right below your seat. And so we can simply just twist that cap off and then that opens up our service advisor port. Now, first thing we need to do is go ahead and connect the connector to its wiring harness here. And we will simply take this side with the red lock, clip that down on into place and then clip our lock into place. That's just gonna make sure that this stays nice and secure there on the connector. Now, next thing we do is we'll need to look here at our pins on the back side, and we'll notice that we have three here on the bottom and one in the middle that have connectors. And we'll need to match those up with the pins on the terminal there at the tractor. So once we do that, we simply line those up and then we turn our lock here on top. Now to lock that, of course, you are gonna turn it to the right, get that locked into place. Now, the question is, is that yes, this is just kind of dangling here out in the open. And if we had this underneath the cowling, you'd be able to put this cowling over the top of it and it'll be out of your way and covered and protected here. So what John Deere has done here on this connector is they've given you two eyelets here where you could drill this, you could drill holes through maybe somewhere on the side of your machine or pick a spot also that you could zip tie it to as they include these two zip ties here with the kit. But that is as simple as it is, is installing here on the 3043D. All of your D model tractors are going to have that port right here. And then also, like I said, the other main port part for other tractors is gonna be underneath this cowling usually over on the right hand side. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope you were able to see something maybe that you hadn't seen before here. And if you're a little more interested in this smart connector and wanna know all the things about it, make sure to be looking down in that description tab for that full on video from our other channel, Western Equipment, telling you all about this smart connector. And also while you're down there, make sure to check out that link to 247parts.com where you can go to get this connector. It's gonna be part number BXX10255. So make sure to check that out if you're interested and getting one of these for yourself. And also guys, if you have any other questions or comments, make sure to leave those down in the comments section below so I can be sure to get back with you. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.